Hi guys, I'm testing out some new equipment that just arrived. I got an arm and my wife got me a light box for Christmas so I can do reproductions of things I have already drawn. And I got like a charcoal set. Um, so we're gonna try that out and play with that because I wanna get some of my darks. Darks is gonna make my pictures pop a little bit more. But anyway, this is just a quick tutorial on one way you can uh, um, get a sketch. You know, some people think using a light box is cheating. That depends on what you're doing. But what I'm using this light box for is I'm gonna use it to get my layout. So I'm using a mechanical pencil. I'm using, I have an arm as attached to my table now so it can be a little bit more steady with my drawings, an adjustable one. I bought it from maybe 20 something dollars off of Amazon and it works pretty good out of what I'm seeing right now. And I can actually see on my other screen what I'm actually doing on this here. So, uh, but this is what we're gonna do. This is, um, I'm using this new charcoal paper I just got. And this is my reference. So I'm going to just how I want. I want it all to be shown on the screen here. Place my paper on top of that. I'm not going to worry about anything else. But what I'm doing now is I'm just, I'm not tracing it. I'm just getting the, the lines of direction. So for instance, this is how far we know the head goes. So I'm going to use that just to mark. And we're not marking hard either. Um, the ear here, we know this is how it goes up. And we want to kind of mark different spots. Um, let's see here. About right here. Yeah. Is that a C right there? It's a little bit more different to see through the watercolor paper. Okay, so this is what we're doing. We're getting locations in which they end so we can kind of get our proportions right. And we got it, it goes there. So let's see here how far this goes over here. Okay, so we have you going up here. Okay, so about right here. So this has our spot. Now we're going to work. We don't worry about too much of the head. We just want, we're just getting these positions lined up. All right, so we know the eye starts here and ends here. And get these lines, get the lines where the eyebrow go. I, yeah, eyebrow goes here ends here, the eye starts here, ends here, the nose starts here, and ends here, the bottom of the, the uh, nose goes there, the mouth starts here, uh, let's see here, let me move this up a little bit so I can kind of get a better, it ends about right here. So those are the dimensions, those are what we're looking for. Here, 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 um, here, 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 and here. So that's technically all the information we need when we're tracing, when I'm saying we're using a light box to get the information. I just started trying to use this to see how it goes. So if I take this off, you don't see anything on that paper. But if I turn this light box off, the only thing you'll see on this paper is reference marks. And from these reference marks, we can make our image. So this is, like I said, this is just one method that you can use. 
So let's let's start co connecting our image and our reference marks here. Let's see here. So we're going to, we know the head goes up this way and that's the farthest part. Uh, let's see here. Let's go on down. We know up here and at this point it curves downward. All right, and up here it goes all the way around. Find our next point here. Probably should have put a reference mark up here how far the head goes up, but I'm gonna guess to guess it. And we're gonna say about up here. This is just the sketch. We're gonna go here, all the way in, then go out, go around like that. All right, then you go up to about right here. And then you kind of, you start going down here to this point here. And we're just doing this and it'll come out looking great with our sketch. All right, so we're getting our head together. All right, let's start with the eyebrows here. We're looking at the sketch, the eyebrows go up and then down. This, I say do, and, and like I said again, do not, well, do not do this so hard. <laughs> so, so we're gonna go there. We're gonna do this again. You goes up and around. Those are our eyebrows. Now we come for the eyes. Now the eye starts here, so it's gonna go around like that. and it's gonna start dropping. You get to that point, you're gonna start dropping. You're gonna go here. We're gonna do that over here as well. Uh, we're gonna make sure, because we have to realize we have that eye, eye, eyelash, eyebrow, not eyebrow, uh, the upper eyelid here. And it goes to about right here. All right. We're doing Carl Winslow. This is just a sketch. I'm, 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 I'm really want to initiate. This is just a sketch. Uh, and then later on in another video, I will turn this sketch into an actual uh, full-fledged drawing. Like I'm testing out the charcoal. So it's going to be a mixture of charcoal, graphite. And then eventually we're going to add in some colors to some of our drawings. Uh, but right off the bat, we want to stick with what we know. All right. All right. So now, we have the next eye, which starts here. It's gonna go connect here. And you're gonna go beyond because you have that eyelash hiding a little bit. So we're gonna go about right here and right here. Gonna go a little bit. We're gonna go a little like that. And then we're going to round that eye off. So here's the thing, what I am saying, this here, it goes here and then it makes a decline almost as if it's 
is not as round as it should be. So let's readjust that. So when you're doing this, it doesn't always, when you're drawing from a sketch, uh, from a live box, you, doesn't all, you don't always get the things right. So although I made my different points and whatever, I still have to go back and judge these points and make sure they're lining up too so that I can create the best image. So let's see, I'm going around, I'm going around up here. So it's here, it's going around here. And then it's more of a straighter point going there. There we go. Now, our nose, I did the point, this, the, the line here on each side of the nose and at the bottom of the nose so I can know where this falls in. So if we go according to that outline, let's see here. Because this side here, this here and this here, according to this reference, they are not the same. They don't go down as far as the, the bottom of the nose here. So it's almost maybe um, one or two centimeters away from there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna draw here go to where I'm gonna be drawing this part of the nose as well. First of all, this nose part comes in a little bit and that's gonna come in a little bit, come around. And at this bottom, well, before we do the bottom, we, got, we know where the bottom is, but let's, this is the bottom here. Make that known. Then we go ahead and do that we draw the inside near the, the nostril area um that'll kind of round that out a little bit there so we're going in round it in round it in now we have the mouth as you can see, let's say on this image, I'm not drawing it so um, dark because once we start using the other medias, the other uh, the charcoal and whatever, we don't want to have to worry about hard lines. Okay, so this is the edge of each of the mouth. So let's get that outline of what the inside of the mouth should look like. So here. And it should about right this area here. So we're gonna do here. And about right here, it should kind of go in like that. From here, we go in, about right here. Uh, about in, about right here. That's where the mouth goes. Back to the point there. Back to the point there. Right now we go here. Connect that because that was the bottom of the lip area. It's a little bit wider than the other side. And we're gonna keep going slowly, just lightly, so we can kind of get that. And this here is gonna come downward a little bit here. So we're gonna keep that together. It's not, oh, excuse me, it's not downward. That way, we gotta give it a little bit more of an angle. All right. Now, at this point, we're nearly done with our sketch. Um, but let's get a few more details in. Um, here, at the ear, we're going to kind of draw this ear out a little bit more.
normally the ear goes from the eyebrow to the middle of the nose. So we're gonna kinda curve you back in a little bit here. And we're gonna bring you in here. And that'll kind of fill that out. That's almost by uh, the lower, mid, mid lower part of the eyebrow to the middle of the nose. Um, and from this point, we can start right, so basically finishing off this image. Um, we're not gonna do too much focus on the clothes at the moment. I'm just drawing it out so that we can have a, still have a little reference, little base is what I'm trying to say. All right, still line up the bottom of the off there. And we are nearly done with our, our reference image of Carl. <coughs> Excuse me. Why am I doing it on camera doing that? Carl Winslow. Carl Winslow. Carl. Uh, and we know that this part goes out. It's not far away, so it's probably right under that mouth here, and it goes about right in, at a slight angle. About right there. And then we focus on the clothing. So I'm going to do this. And on this side here, we're going to go in at that part of the nose right before the curve. We're gonna go down like that, brown. And we're gonna go up like down like that, and we're gonna make that around. From that point, we go here, and we're gonna make that around. These are more of a shadow, not shadow, but creases. I'm just putting this here in as an indicator and we'll know what to do with that when we actually start drawing the picture. Just doing our shadings to make that more of a crease. This is not everyone's way of doing it. This is just a way of doing it. And we're going to draw that going on down. You're going to be doing that as well. Draw you going on down until you merge into that. And one more line here. All right, so that is our basic sketch. If we want to go a little bit deeper, we can always put the eyes in. Let, let's go ahead and do that. We're not going to deal with certain parts, just the eyes. So we're going to do the eyes here. Some things you can eyeball, others you may have to measure, but uh, this is something that's easy to eyeball. Another spot here with the eyes. You've got to remember that when we're doing eyes, there's always this uh, in the tear duct area here. And we're going to have this a little area here. All right, so now we got this part here. And the eye here, it angles to that side just a little bit so that we can make this eye pop a little bit more. 
And with these here, you have the, the different shapes that are in the eye. And these will give it a little bit more depth uh, when you're actually drawing, uh, shading the image. It looks more like eyes, reflections in the eyes, etc. So here as well. All right, that is our base. Oh, no, 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 we're not finished. We are not finished yet. So let's finish up here, the ear. The ear is something that I always forget to do for some odd reason. Let's kind of uh, do this here. Let it follow through the ear, at the top of that ear comes down and falls and goes in and then comes out slightly. And that'll give us our shape for the ear. All right, so here. This video here is just gonna be released on, I may put it on YouTube, but um, this is basically a Facebook image here. Facebook video here, just for certain people who wonder how to do certain things. Um, Freehanded is a way to do it, but this is also a method that you can use where you're not tracing the actual image but you're getting um, you're getting a reference. You're 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 putting points and plotting certain areas where you know where you can actually draw it yourself. But you'll know how far to go over the shape, the what shape I should put there due to what I just saw. Okay, so from here we have we all we we want to do this as well. Let's not forget that. Mark where all the, the, the creases are. So if you look at Carl here, he has these creases going under his eyes to the sides. We want to mark those as well. Same here. I forgot to do that uh, same here. Draw, and remember I say draw light so that you can, uh, if you do make mistakes, that you can go back and correct those mistakes. And there's other levels you can go when it comes to getting getting actual skin texture when you're drawing. Uh, I'm not as skilled in that area, but that is a level, a deeper area. I'm trying to get better in that part as well. So we got here. You're gonna kind of follow through that middle of the nose area and you're going to go around like that. Again, you're gonna to come to this side 
same thing, follow. That was not as deep and that's not as long. So we have that. All right. So that is our sketch, guys. Uh, you may not be able to see it as strong as you would prefer, but that is what we're doing. If you want, we can go ahead and put some of these wrinkles where they should go. But I usually don't do that until I'm actually working on the image. So there we go. you'll be amazed how it actually turns out. That's how a lot of my pictures turn out as the image and you're like, oh, that doesn't really look like a person. I can see where the reference comes from, but you'll be actually amazed at how it actually comes out when you're finished actually drawing and shading it. When you start shading it and then you get to a certain point like, oh, that's looking pretty good. That's when you really get your, uh, What's the word I want to say? Uh, edification is what I think I want to say. <laughs> All right, guys. Look. All righty.